Hi everyone, this is Yitzka, and today I'll walk you through our new TMS feature, the XML Profiles. The profiles provide an interface for building complete set of XML import settings and saving them for later use in job creation and storing them in project templates. The preview can handle up to 10 files at a time. Once those files are loaded, there will be two tabs, JView displayed by default and an XPath view that's primarily intended for advanced users who are proficient in XPath. The preview basically parses the file and creates a hierarchical representation of all the files. The elements and attributes um, can be selected for import by these checkboxes. If I select a parent element or all child elements are selected by default, if I don't want any of the children to be imported, I can deselect them uh, by these checkboxes here. Additionally, the importable elements and attributes can be marked as locked, as inline non-translatable, as inline translatable, and as HTML. All those changes will be rendered in the preview. If I switch back to the XPath tab, you'll see that the tree view actually generates an XPath for all of these options. I can change these settings here and they will also be rendered in the preview. However, I cannot go back to the tree view and still keep the settings from the XPath. So the users need to decide if they want to continue building the profile through the XPath mode or go back to the tree view and that will be restored to the state where I left it with. Build a complete import settings. Users can also uh, configure additional settings that will not be rendered in the preview, but should be part of the import settings, such as segmentation, uh, preserving white spaces, etc. In case some content was marked as HTML, as an example, users will also be able to um, tweak the import settings for HTML section right here. Once the profile is, is complete, I can save it. I'll give it a name and optionally, I can also provide a description of what the profile does or when it should be used. It's really up to the users what they decide. Every time I save a profile, there is a file saved to it so that users go, can go back to editing the profile in the future when needed. You'll see an overview of all the profiles that are created. The, the, the table can be sorted by all of these attributes, uh, filtered, and um, there's also a search bar. If a profile is saved in a template, you'll also see the template's name here. Now, all the existing profiles can be used for job imports in the XML section here. And in order to be able to select the profile, I need to, uh, need to switch to the XPath tab. And in the selector, I can I can find um, the profile that I want to use. When I use a profile, all the remaining import sections and import settings will be hidden, meaning the settings from the profile cannot be overridden. If any change is needed in the profile, I need to go back to it to settings, and edit it there, and then uh, come back to this page and, and select the profile again. All right. Thank you for watching.